Hello everyone. So today, as you know, today is Thursday and uh, it's sixth of April, and today is the expiry day. So as you can see here, uh, the scores went uh, for Nifty and Nifty derivatives indicators. The score went negative, as you can see in Bank Nifty also. So the market is currently live. It's uh, uh, almost two p.m. So uh, yeah. So now uh, in the morning, as you can see that i told my members that uh short uh, positions were made on the call side at 17800 and 17700 and uh, uh so that was around 925 am okay so yeah also some put positions uh, uh, put shorts were also going on on 17700 so it was very safe to short 17800 uh on the call side so uh, and also I told that uh, 17,700 uh, is the max pen point for Nifty and 17,000, uh, sorry, 37,500 is the uh, max pen point for Bank Nifty. And now, then also I told that, uh, so uh, there was heavy call short at 17,700 at 10.42. So that was an indication that uh, and score was increasing as you can see I also told at 1046 now score is increasing heavy short positions have been made but score is increasing so that means the retail traders are present there. So nifty derivatives indicator bank nifty derivatives indicator they catch uh, where the big, big players are present so they were present but uh, so many re retail traders were present so uh, the stop loss hunting was to happen and the stop loss hunting happened okay and then as you can see here i told uh, so let's go and check out the time i told that uh, at around 1208 that stop loss hunting is over now okay on the call side and now it will be done on the put side so what happens is exactly uh, so on so if you see the option chain that is on so uh, even if you see the thing here that I told in the morning that uh, short straddle was getting formed okay so that is the thing so on both the sides so when short straddle gets formed that is uh, at 17,700 as you can see here I told that uh, here uh, the market is then bounded because short straddle was getting formed so on both the sides uh, big players were making short positions and uh, they will let market end uh, near about uh, 17,700 and on both the sides they would eat the premium and gain. So now uh, if you think that, uh, so I mean we as uh, retail traders would like to short only on one side, whichever side we see that it's heavy, um, much OIs are present So uh, or do some analysis. So whichever side you go, stop loss will be hunted for you. Okay. As you can see here, both the sides stop loss hunting happened. Both the sides. It went up and then it went down. Okay. So, and uh, even for Bank Nifty, you can see it's almost near about its max pin point. Okay. So, from uh, the high that it made, from the high that it made here, and then it came down to near about its uh, max pin point. So, uh yeah so as you can see here i told that uh, told this uh so this is what happens like what do I, what i was going to say that uh, on both the sides they made short positions and then whichever side you went for they hit uh, they were hitting your stop loss so that's what they do actually okay so now uh uh, so you have to identify when they are doing that and when they have made short straddle or uh, so what else so yeah uh, that was the uh, update in the morning and now you can see in the uh, at 12.08 as I just showed you that 12.08 I just told that just now stop loss hunting is over and uh, so there was a clear signal because uh, uh, buying was going on at 17,000 uh, in nifty buying was going on at 17,800 on the put side okay when uh, the price was near about 50 to 55 the uh, buying started all of a sudden okay so that's why i told uh, so and that was at uh, around 12.08 uh, okay so at around that time so that's why i told that 
uh, the now nifty will go down because uh, they will just double their money whoever is buying uh, uh, i mean in the put so here at 17800 okay in the money on the put side so now and you see now the price is almost uh, 17000 so let's refresh so it, i mean more than double so yeah as you can see it's uh, 121 so they were buying at around uh, 50 to 55 rupees and now it's 121 uh, i think in between it went more than that so that is what happens actually so you have to be a lot of careful and you have to trade uh, accordingly so you see now let's come to the scores i'll show you ma what magic happened so uh, now let's come here come so as you can see here so yeah to, uh, so i told at 12.08 so this is the candle 12.08 so this was then next two candles were green and then after that so whatever you saw after 30 minutes i get to know before that why because i have made something which predicts the market okay so if you can see here let's come at around this uh, 10 am okay so 10 am some uh, uh, so here you have a green candle and then nifty was almost up here also it went up so let's look at 10 am so here starting uh, the score went negative and then uh, positive a little but not that much but then you see that at around here 10 22 to 10 23 it just suddenly went negative or if you notice here from 17 so 10 10 okay so 10 10 am 17 to negative 5 okay so 10 10 am if you even look at five minutes candle so this is 10 15 9 15 10 5 yeah so 10 10 this was the candle okay still going up okay but score went negative and then you can see the fall so before one uh, candle uh, five minutes so before five minutes i got to know that now nifty will go down so nifty went down and then i told my members that uh, so many uh, now nifty score now here nifty score was increasing okay so uh, let's let's come here uh, so 10 30 so let's come here 10 35 and then you see here uh, it went to negative 52 but again then it started dec uh, increasing the score okay 1052 was 1035 and then 3738 so here the score was increasing so then i uh, told my members that is the stop loss hunting would be done so because there have been so many retail traders at 17700 uh, call writing position so yes so that that's that's the magic before even 5 minutes before you get to know that nifty will be going down okay so yeah so what happened uh, so now when uh, this was going up so i told my members that uh, the push was done by bank nifty so bank nifty scores were increasing so as you can see here bank nifty scores were increasing so now when i saw that bank nifty scores uh, here suddenly from 64 it was for, uh, 50s 40s and it's dropping and that's why i told that stop loss hunting is over okay so even if you come to nifty uh at around 12 uh 1207 here so then 41 then 30s then 20s and again 30s and finally it was dropping so now that's that's the hint for the reversal so uh that's how you get to know that when both bank nifty and nifty their scores are decreasing it's a strong sign of uh, uh, either reversal or whichever side they're going it's a strong sign so yeah scores are still updating but uh, yeah as i told that nifty would be closing around 70700 so that uh, the big players who have made uh, short positions on both the sides they would uh, make the maximum profit okay so yes 
and uh, that's the update for today hope you will like it so that is how this uh, these models nifty derivatives indicators and bank nifty derivatives indicators they help you to know beforehand that what is going to happen okay so this is a very nice prediction model for nifty as well as bank nifty so if you like it if you want to uh, get the access you can go to my website and uh, take the access so that's it for today thanks for watching see you tomorrow